Hello, welcome to ProMixing and Mastering. Today I'm gonna teach you how to list your plugins in the right order. This is very important because sometimes when you don't list your plugins in the right order, the sound becomes bad. Your mixing becomes bad, especially when you're doing it in Cubase. You, you see, Cubase expects you to put your plugins in order for you to get go are uh, a good sound in order for your mixing to be very good in order for your mastering to be very good whenever you just throw in plugins and you just put plugins where they are not supposed to be not in the right order and sometimes the sound become merged the sound become um distorted the sound becomes very bad and you may do your best when it comes to uh, mixing, but if you don't know how to list your plugins, that is gonna be a very big uh, issue or problem to your mix and your mastering. So what I love to do, I'm gonna show you what how, how I do it and what I love to do whenever I wanna produce um, a professional sound, whenever I want something great to just um, come out. I'm <coughs> Excuse me. I'm working on this song of mine, uh, this one right here, and I've put the plugins the way. Hallelujah, he has done it for me. My God is a good God, he has done it for me. He has blessed me, double, double, hey, do my job. He moved me from grass to grace, oh. oh, oh. Now we the fly in private jets, uh-huh. It's all because of Jesus. It's all because of him. See my life, I the shine because of him. Everybody's watching me moving from glory to glory. All right. You can as as you can listen the vocal is okay. There is no disturbance to the vocal why because i have placed uh listed my plugins in the right order so this is how you do it the first thing make sure that you add pitch corrector or auto tune or pitch shift plugins or auto tune or whatever plugin that you use if you want to use to uh, control your vocal a little bit, which is a must because uh, sometimes vocals just need to be uh, smoothened a little bit. So I advise that the first plugin that you put in your audio track, this is the audio track, your audio track, not in your um, groups, but first your audio track because this is going to go straight to your uh, vocal and then from there it's gonna go to whatever you do here first comes to the vocal then goes to the group channels doesn't go straight to the group channels starts from here so the first plugin that you put in your audio track is auto tune and make sure you said it uh well you said it very good and then secondly um the second plugin or effect that you that you add uh should be maximizer or rvox why maximizer because you just want to lift up like mine i put it on default i haven't ex done anything so i just wanted it to to it comes with that natural lifting whenever it's on default so you put in maximizer this is gonna help your vocal to sound like this let me turn it off then i'm gonna turn it on hallelujah he has done it for me. My God is a good God. He has done it for me. He has blessed me. Double, double. Hey, do my job. He moved me from grass to grace. Oh. So there was just that warmth and that uh, maximization just uh, comes. That just comes to your vocal. It gives to your vocal. So. The first plugin is auto tune then second is maximizer then from there what i love to do is connect my audio track 
link it to uh, my group uh, channel track and that's where Hallelujah. that's where I come to um, to the audio track and then I come to this then go to um, come to stereo then go to groups and then take it to your group and then in the group channel number three plugin that you add after you've added autotune maximize or arrow vox just to lift it up uh, a little bit and give it that punch the third plugin should be parametric or an eq you need to add an eq just like the way i've eq'd i've added parametric eq so you put an eq why because you want to first get rid of those unnecessary frequencies before you do compression most people are uh, add compression before an EQ which I don't think is the right thing because first you've got to get rid of unwanted dirt and frequencies like a house you don't just shift into a house without or minus cleaning that house so what you do is clean the house first and then from there you can put in your furniture and everything that you want to put into your house so I look at it in that way so I from Autotune, Maximizer, Arvox, I go to an EQ. I start working on those unwanted frequencies. Slowly, I start removing unwanted frequencies. And that's the time where you have to really, really take your time, listen to each frequency because you might end up cutting the wrong frequency. So take your time, remove unwanted frequencies, just like just like you can see right here I just did a little little here and the rest just I left everything the way they are so you take your time which frequency you ask yourself which frequency uh, should I remove which frequency is not sounding good to my ears which frequency is unnecessary so you remove those frequencies and then after you have worked on frequencies what you do is add a compressor basically what a compressor does is to lift up the quieter parts and also reduce those high parts which are too loud in the mix and just to control it and to smoothen it up a little bit and how do you do the smoothening you can check out the other videos but I'm gonna just explain within just seconds take the attack to faster and the release leave it on 160 threshold at least negative 12 and you it depends on the kind of music that you're producing the ratio three to one and then from there go to from compression due to compression some of the um the f higher frequencies the t's and the s's are uh, just get raised up so to control those and uh and t's you put you add an uh, a plugin called a deesa so from compression add in a deesa so you can control some of those frequencies which are harsh frequencies the t's and the s's so you can control them a little bit see what is happening here when i play the song hallelujah he has done it for me my god is a good god so the s is the f just a little bit that's what i wanted so when you have dealt with those frequencies using rds uh, then um throw in from rds uh, throw in a second eq and the reason why uh, throw in a second eq on uh um number there is auto tune one uh maximizer two eq three compression four number five deessing then number six another eq now this is just just a tiny little bit subtle eq where you just uh eq just those frequencies which were raised up during compression and you want to control them just a little bit just a little bit so this is why you throw in another eq a second eq then from there um one two three four five six and number six uh throw in 
a saturator it's very important for your vocals to have to to be saturated so make sure you have a saturator all the songs that you hear international songs on the market they they are saturated so make sure you add a saturator what a saturator does is it gives harmonies to your harmonics to your uh, vocals like this this is before saturation hallelujah he has done it for me and this is before after saturation hallelujah he has done it for me my God is a good God. He has done it for me. He has blessed me. So what saturation does is that I'm using a tape saturator. So what it does is it warms up the vocal and also adds a little bit of distortion to your vocal. Just to make it sound good. To make it not sound very harsh but warmed up. So that's the reason why uh, number six is saturation. Then I love to deal with noise at the end because i believe that when you're recording your your vocal is not really supposed to be uh noisy it has to be uh it just has to have a little noise so this is why i recommend that you add your denoiser so the the last plugin that you add is denoiser just to deal with those unwanted frequencies why because in cubis uh, most times when you add denoiser at the beginning the vocal stops sounding original stops sounding natural just sounds bad so i don't know why it is like that so but when you add it at the end um of the vocal the vocals just sound good unless if you know what you're doing then you can start uh with denoiser first that is if maybe you are recording in a um uh, an industry uh area where vehicles are moving there is a lot of noise and you can't just start uh eqing before you remove that and wanted noise so you can start with denoiser but most often most times uh i believe that as a producer where you record from must be quiet and you should not have too much noise so to avoid that you are uh, at denoiser at the end of your plugins so this is denoiser I added the noise just a little bit on low to remove those that the background noise the floor noise the fans and just the computer noise just to take get rid of those and then followed up by denoiser i usually follow it up uh with a plugin called the crackle and what the crackle does is this let me show you Hallelujah. so i'm gonna do output bypass uh, i mean output crackle only i want you to to listen to the crackles the which i just don't like in my mix like this so those like insects moving in my vocal i don't like that so you add that to uh after your denoiser you add the crackles then the crackle i mean then finally i add the click the click is actually this i'm gonna output clicks only so i don't like clicks so that helps me to get rid of clicks then from there i just do final touches here and there then i listen to it and then from there i i do mastery hallelujah though you've got to be careful if there are no clicks and crackles just turn, turn them off just like the way i turned these two off unless you're pretty sure that your vocal has a lot of crackles and a lot of clicks then you can add the crackle uh, after the noise or the crackle and the click but for now with mine the noise is my last plugin remember whenever you're mastering mixing i mean don't add unnecessary plugins that you don't even know how to use add what you know that is going to help you to improve your mixes very much so for me i don't have 
uh, crackles and uh, I, I don't have too much crackles and too much clicks so I'm okay with where the vo vocal is so I'm gonna turn this to off and just let it be like this Hallelujah He has done it for me My God is a good so basically guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos and don't forget to leave this video a like i will see you in the next one